Hey everybody, welcome back to Mrs. Ralkan's house. I am James. We are almost live in the basement. And we're going to talk about electromotricity. Uh, this, if you're going to rewire your house, this is all the crap you need. Uh, first thing you need, you need a panel box. This is a Square D Homeline Series 30 space 60 circuit box. That's what we're going to use as the base for our system. We're wiring the house with 12-2 wire. That's a thousand foot roll. It is flipping heavy. Uh, that is a surge arrestor device that goes onto the main circuit board. I shouldn't say circuit board, onto the main, uh, the main circuit panel. Uh, it is like the surge protectors that you have for your computers and your electronic equipment. It's just that it's for the entire house. That's, we're still going to use surge protectors at the point of use. So where we have computers and we have electronics, we are still going to use surge protectors, but this is going to knock the great big peaks off the voltage spikes coming into um, our house from the service entrance. You'll need breakers. We got a crap ton of breakers. 15 amp, 20 amp, 50, 40, 30, and one little 15 there. Um, the four rows on the bottom, those are all 220 breakers. You'll see they're double pole breakers. It means they take up two spaces. You'll need arc fault breakers with the 15 and the 20 amp variety. You'll need um, ground fault breakers of the uh, 15 and 20 amp variety. Uh, we are using um, weatherproof and heavy duty um, boxes for our outlets that are gonna be on the outside of the house. You'll need plugs, 15 amp plugs, Got a couple of those, 20 amp plugs, got a couple of those. You'll need light switches of the uh, uh, single pole variety. You'll need light switches of the three-way variety. You'll need switch plate covers. You'll need um, GFCI covers. You will need boxes, lots and lots of boxes because in our house, we don't even have boxes. We have uh, low voltage wiring for all of our switches, so we don't, we don't even have a box. We have mud rings, and uh, code says you have to enclose it in a box, so we get to put boxes in. You need lots of wire nuts, you'll need lots of wire staples, We've got utility lights with a crawl space, which is something that I'm putting in, and a couple of these things my big butt down there. This is a screwdriver that swivels. So if you're having to screw in nine million screws over the course of putting your stuff in, it makes it go a little bit easier. Um, so that's what we're that's what we're going to start off with. Uh, I've got um, oh I still have. GFCI plugs are coming. I couldn't get them at my local store in the brand that I wanted, in the color that Mrs. Rattlecan wanted. Um, we're using uh, we're using Hubble receptacles and Hubble um, switches. Uh, I'm going to end this short because they're calling about my truck. Receptacles. Uh, the GFCI receptacles are. Um, I actually got them from the same from the same big box store that's mostly blue as opposed to another color. Um, but they didn't have them in any of the stores around me. Um, I was able to order them online. Uh, it's a free shipping kind of thing. And uh, if you've got one of those little cards that allows you to get a discount because of a job you may have had in the past, um, then they'll still give you that discount. So think about doing that. Um, that is just shy of 200 bucks. So. Uh, at the moment, 1500 bucks is what you're looking at. Um, looking at here, this is 50. What happens at your house? I mean, who knows? You could get by for a couple hundred bucks. It probably not, but I'm trying to make you feel better about it. So anyways, that's what's going on almost live from Mrs. Rattlecan's basement. All right, you guys have a good one. Cheers.
If you enjoyed watching this episode of Mrs. Rattlecan's House, consider checking out this video. Be sure to subscribe to us on YouTube and to get the latest updates on our progress, like us on Facebook. Thanks for watching. We'll see you again soon. Perhaps we should have some wine. <laughs>